What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are upgrading a WatchGuard XDM5 appliance to convert it into an epic router for PFSense. So let's get started. These are the tools and hardware that we are going to need. One Cisco console cable, a Phillips screwdriver, CPU heatsink paste, small brush to clean if dusty, an Intel Core 2 quad CPU, 8 gig CF memory card, one SATA cable, one SSD 120 gigabyte SATA hard drive, and not but not least, four gigs of RAM. Link to all these tools on the description down below. So let's grab our fillet head screwdriver and let's take this thing apart. On the back, we have three Phillips head screws holding the top cover. After removing the screws and the top cover, this is what it looks like. Now, we continue on by removing the air duct to access the heatsink and CPU. This is also held by four Phillips head screws. After the air duct is out of the way, we can start removing the CPU heatsink. This is also held in place by four Phillips screws. Carefully, let's remove the heatsink to expose the CPU. And this is what it looks like. Now, we can go ahead and remove the CPU. Very straightforward. Just move the lever and it comes right out. Now we are putting in an Intel Core Quad Q6600 CPU. Thermal paste. And we can go ahead and reinstall our heatsink. Again, all we have to do is just tie up our Phillips head screws in a crisscross pattern. You can go ahead and reinstall our air duct. It's also hold by four Phillips head screws now it's time to install our four gigs of RAM these are DDR2 6300 DIMMs Link in the description down below. So let's put in our 120 gigabyte SATA SSD hard drive. You can go ahead and tug it under the power hardest and you need a pair of pliers to take out these the power SATA connector from the from the harness If you guys want a detailed guide step by step on how to install PFSense on a WatchGuard XDM5 appliance, I will post a link in the description down below and also a card on the upper right hand corner. Now we can slide the FGX CF card with PFSense pre-installed on it. Let's insert our power cable. 
Let's press the power button. And we can see that the unit is booting up. No troubles. And we are set to go. You can see that the unit has booted and PFSense is now loaded. Now we can log in using our favorite browser to our web configurator. We can see that the system has detected our CPU, our Intel Core Quad, 4 core CPU, and our 4 gigs of RAM. Well guys, this is it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for future videos. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Take care everybody.